Get on that. I'll save my life saving. Grab the rope. Yeah, you got it, dog. Go, dog. I think I can. I don't know. I don't hurt my back, but I think I can get up. Spaghetti leg. Okay. Come on, spaghetti leg. Yeah. If you get on that, I'll yeah, get my it's entire army. Alright, dog. Oh! 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 How's he doing this? He's styling on you! This is crazy! Oh! He's not going to go! What the? Woo! Alright, I have to see. Dog won the challenge. Whatever the challenge was, you won. You saw him out there at a lake boy. That was insane. I didn't even know you had that in his back. Where did you learn that? Let me just tell you about this, man. I'm here out at Lake Como right now. I'm at the Grand Hotel Termisio. Say whatever you want. I want to thank you all for this, this channel. channel. Subscribe the dog at this point. I don't know. And the dog just on tracks, right? Grazie, prego. Grazie, prego. Yeah, I know. We're doing. We're answering a question. Just start talking. We are out here in the Amalfi Coast, in the pool, on our back deck from our hotel room. The views couldn't be any better. Alright, we're gonna get right to it. Right to the questions. Jack Calliot from our Instagram story. Questions. Here we go. What's the coolest part about Italy that we don't have in the U.S.? Just the view. Can you tell us it? Flip around. Yeah, that's a, that's a cop out. Like, that's we, can, we can flip it around and say, what does U.S. have? Water. <laughs> they don't serve they don't much serve water. water. No, it's absolutely beautiful. I said, I think like the uh, the Duomos at the, like each major city is awesome. Like every every major city is like built around like Catholicism and stuff. So they built these massive cathedrals every like big city and it's a giant like city center everyone goes and hangs out like goes and checks it out so like if you don't know what to do in each city you can just check out the Duomo and you'll find something like we just we saw the one in Milan we probably saw the one in Rome and uh but yeah there's ones everywhere so it's super cool uh I mean this might be an obvious one but the wine like they they neglect you on the water they, they make sure that you're not mm -hmm. drinking any water and yeah. then they will not let your wine glass be empty for no, longer than no. one second. The they're they're back is... pouring with another one. And they don't even ask you do you want another bottle. They just pop open another bottle, you pour you on. Here's some more wine, you get off the shits. And that's kind of how it works. And it's literally the best wine you'll ever drink. Yeah, if you come, you just trust the food. Don't don't try to mix, mix and match it. Just let them let them do their thing. Let the chef cook, right? Uh, the next one from Bizelzebub. I don't know what they're probably gonna do is something. Uh, the guys versus Italian basketball team? I want to do that. I, I was looking around for courts. We might have to look one up on the maps, but I definitely want to play. We saw them play an interesting sport. I don't even know what it's called. We can pop that up the so video cool. of it. Kayaking, They're out there yeah. on kayaks, like throwing the ball Crazy. around. It's like water polo on kayaks. Yeah. That's so, I mean, sad. maybe we hop into that game. Just all of a sudden pull up with a kayak. I mean, that's definitely the goal, is to eventually play people. I want to travel around like, the country, I mean, the, the world, and play uh, play different people from all over the I mean, all over the world. So, that'd be cool. Hopefully, we can start with it, you know, in so, one day. Hit us up, yeah, if you're in a different country and you watch our channel. Danilo Galanari doesn't want to smoke. From Just Skilly English, you stand. What's it feel like to travel for your passion? She asked two questions, two questions. That was the first one. Um, so we don't get to do it all the time yet because we all still have full-time jobs. Thank you, don't realize that. We still all, all are all working and making most of our money through our actual jobs versus YouTube right now, but we're trying to get grow to get to that point. So I think that's like, for me, it's like one of the dreams of like being able to do YouTube and like content full-time but be able to just like go across the world and travel. I think it'll start for us in the States. Like we just go, the different parts of the country and like travel around play against different people kind of like Devonte Friga did yeah. and like still does so I think that that's like amazing to me and I think that'd just be like the dream come true for, for me just to like meet different types of people go to different places have different experiences and then make some like awesome content while doing it so that's just I couldn't ask for anything better.
the goal at the end of the day is like to do something that doesn't seem like a job. So like, I mean, it's a blast to travel around the country and like, and now I guess the world and do what we love to do. So I'm excited to do that in the future. Do you, next one was, do you have a specific pinch me moment during your career with the guys? If so, what was it and how did it impact you? It was probably the first time we met Devontae and like started to become friends with him. Cause like, I mean, obviously the tournament was fun, but it wasn't like, yeah. it, it was like, there was a lot of people there, but not like that many people, but it was more just like, we basically kind of took over that tournament and like we had a lot of fun and like, you could see that like in his eyes too, that he was like, I don't know. You could see that like everyone like we affected the environment around us, everyone wanted to like cheer for us and hang out with us. Yeah, like, before yeah. we even were like that big of a channel, like, we were yeah. still like, a very small channel, yeah, but like, like yeah. People, yeah, people like loved us and braced us out there. So I mean, that's it. I guess it's an easy cop answer, but meeting Devontae for the first time, like, because like, yeah. I mean, here's the reason why I started the channel in the first place. So like, just like kind of like a pinch me moment, which is like we like dapped him up and like, like signed him shirts and like gave us shoes and stuff. So I don't know. It was cool. I think um, I think Las Vegas playing in the influencer run yeah. and like being there playing against all the people that you watch on YouTube was was really cool. I mean. It, and then hearing them say they watched our content and like really appreciate it, just like, you know, never would you have thought that guys like Hezzy God watch, you know, our stuff. Um, yeah. yeah. I, so think, I think that was the coolest moment. For sure. I think for me, Devontae had a lot of our pitch moments for sure, but I think the first one was when we first had to take over in St. Louis and we just like got out of the giant, our battle bus with Devontae and saw like a line, the massive crowd of people like just lined up to like watch yeah. us play. And I know it was mostly for Devontae, but still like we clearly had a part in that and like hit up a bunch of people in St. Louis. We're the one to organize the run really for St. Louis and for Devontae in the first place. So without us like that wouldn't even happen in our city. So it was cool to see that that kind of impact. People went up to us being like, look what you just did for the city. Mm -hmm. And look how much like the city can really like grow from that. And that, that's kind of how like everything started. Like then Ball is Life Midwest squad started getting popular. Like that's what I, they kind of started. That's how like a bunch of other people in St. Louis started making more and more content. So we love that. And we love to like get involved with more creators. So just kind of, that, that was the first moment where just like, wow, we can really do something with this and like make it a lot bigger. I think TBT is obviously an honorable mention for yeah, that too. Yeah, TBT. Oh, so. you know, there's so international many. Level. Yeah, there's a lot of pictures. <laughs> yeah, we can, yeah. We can go on for days. That was a great question. That's, that's, a great that's question. my favorite. Like, yeah. There's so many times I've had myself looking around like, wow, we really need to do this. Yeah. It's not even like that. I think the next one will be like when we can do it full time and just like be able to make this like that would be like wow. Like I'm sure there's a bunch of moments we're forgetting, but like those are yeah. the ones we think of like on the top of the For sure. Yeah. Next one, Dooley uh, underscore seven sevens response. Did Tom ever tell you about that time he woke up with a used condom oh. in his ass at uh -oh. the Lake of the Ozarks? Huh? Did you ever tell me about that? That was supposed to never resurface. Next question. All right, next question. Scoozy, scoozy. We popped that up in the scroll to my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I was just scrolling through my phone. So the missing any questions, I did that. No, this is when I started taking videos. Like I got some questions when I started. Yeah, yeah underscore Marcus 13 response. How tall are the guys? Um, I'm 6'3". Listed. Carl and Arasa. You can probably listen to 6'4". Yeah. Really hard. We know how tall Parker is. Parker's about like five. Yeah, Parker's like, like five, five, nine, five, ten. Five, ten. Yeah, yeah, Parker. Right around there. Um, me and Tom are both six foot, even. I'm six we're both six just, with heels on. Yeah, we're both six six with heels on. We got Dalton, Dalton D Bass probably leading the charge here. How tall is he? Just like yeah. six five. Yeah, yeah he's like six, six five. He's a quarterback six. of high school. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we got D Bass probably also six five, maybe four. Six five. Yeah. 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 Yeah, six foot, six more. Yeah, there's a bunch of How about ice cream like, Joe. Ice cream Joe? A meaty. He's probably like, ah, is he shorter than us? Skin. Skin? Skin? It's <laughs> Would you rather be a, this is a good one. I think it's from Brett. Would you rather be a guest on Impulsive, BFFs, or oh the Joe Rogan? Um, yeah. I gotta go with BFFs first and then Impulsive. Yeah, I we, we met Josh and like, I don't know, like, Josh is a cool dude, like in person too. Like he's the same way as he is on camera. So I think Bree would be cool too. Yeah. And then David just would be hilarious because he's just like brutally honest. So I, uh, I think I would go the opposite. I think I would do um, the Joe Rogan, oh, you know, really? the Joe Rogan experience cool. because just the the list of names that have been on there is yeah. absolutely yeah. incredible. The amount of knowledge dropped on his podcast is 
That probably wow. has the most viewers. Oh, I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm going for the box. Yeah. <laughs> Joe yeah, would be the easy answer. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I listened to that more because I think he's like awesome, an awesome person. Oh my god. Uh, Joe Rogan's an awesome, awesome person. Um, I, I mean, Impulsive would be insane. That'd like, be really cool. That'd be dope because like we look. I, I look up to Logan Paul a lot because he's like yeah. the way he's like been able to grow his content and like just yeah. adapt all the time. He's like incredible. And then Mike may like the beast. Love him too. But probably BFFs. I literally yeah. have it on my bathroom. Like I will be on the BFFs podcast. So like we are gonna be on that one day. Um, Correct. But I think like that. I mean, day four. I'm a day four now. I stand. Love Josh Richards. Bree's awesome too. So I think we we all vibe well with them for sure. Makes a lot. And that's when you know like you're making it in the in the you know in our in our space at BFFs once you have you on. So that'd yeah, be, that'd be a big we just gotta start up some drama though. First. Yeah. <laughs> uh, great question though. Next one. Would you guys want to adopt me? LOL. I don't know who asked this question. <laughs> um, yes. We can barely afford <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. take care of ourselves these days, but uh, yeah, sure. Come hang out. Caleb Redorian. Is that Redorian? Uh, where do you see the guys in 10 years? Oh, that's fun. On the moon. Sure. Yeah, literally on the moon. We're going to get there before 10 years. There's just so many different pathways we can take because we do so many different types of content, not just basketball. Yeah. So, I mean, who knows? Hopefully similar to Logan, but not exactly like having a product or something that we can sell as well. Like, Prime, yeah. Prime is a great example of like, yeah. kind of said earlier, and stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah. They have like milk happy dad type of thing, branching out. And yeah. Start Getting in other companies, world. yeah. yeah. But uh, for me, it's like I, I never think about like I have to be like this point in this many years because like I just want it to like happen. I just know it'll happen eventually. You trust that like, you know, over time it will. It could be in one year, it could be in ten, it could be in, you know twenty five. So you never like I never focus on the timetable, but like there's some things obviously like, what they said to, to to build. And I think I want to expand like different types of content, get into like live streaming, Twitch streaming a little bit. Like the gaming world would be awesome because I, I, I follow a lot of gamers like love that that side of things, like just different types of content I'd be really excited for, like some more like personal stuff and just to expand different channels and be like similar to like a bar stool I guess where like you kind of, we can start like getting involved with other creators and like building them up so like then one day they're, they're massive but then like they're contributing to like you know the, the big of the guys and like the guys just become giant corporate entities. I, w- I wouldn't want to compete with those people, but yeah like stuff like that where we can be like this giant thing. That can build up other creators and make you know make a difference in the world. Yeah, Jen Ar- 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 Young. Okay, well shout out uh, Jen. Yeah. Dunk on an Italian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's ask a question for our viewers in the comments below. What kind of content would you guys like more to see? You know, obviously we're gonna keep playing basketball. That's gonna keep going. Yeah. But what is the favorite thing like is it pranks is it podcasts is it like, yeah what, what do you guys want to what, what do you guys want to what know? is the type of content you would like to see more from us and yeah. then what was your first video that you watched where you're like wow i want to follow these guys they got they're onto something i'd like to know that one uh let's do the outro back to the rest okay yeah. all right we're yeah. 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 yeah perfect timing i think we can do an outro the, perfect thank you thank you yeah we come out really well you just making up Italian words. Bob, make sure you get this picture. We've stumbled upon some sort of museum. There's not a single thing of English in here, but right over here to my left, you'll see Cleopatra's crystal skull. Um, there's some way we could steal it, get it out of here, bring it back to the States. I'll give you guys a nice surprise. And we could really make an impact on the gaming. It both just like got better too. So yeah, we're in waiting for that. Yeah. Top played any other character in Overwatch other than Jump Battle Five. Tom just played. No, you did. Played the there's game. no complaint. Tom just knew how to play no Overwatch. No complaint. <laughs> 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 <laughs>